Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are also going to look into uh, how to improve look and feel of matrix video. In this video, I'm going to walk through how you can add multiple total lines in a matrix video. This was a question posted in Power BI Community Forum a long, long time ago. Uh, previously, I solved it um, without calculation groups but in this particular video we are going to solve this using calculation groups and then we will have multiple uh, total lines in a different format as well like there will be a percentage on total line and as well as a number on total line let's look at power bi file and look at the solution so here i have a matrix visual uh, pretty simple like a I have let me walk through the model first. So this is a category table and then the sales table. I want too many relationship. And then in metrics visual I have a category from my uh, category table which is category new. And then I have a product from sales table. There is no uh, separate table for product. And then I'm just showing the total sales um, by, by category and product. The ask here is to show multiple total lines by summary, summarized category total, category 1, 2, 3 on the total, just the sum of category 1, 2, 3, um, and then also a percentage of total cost versus total sales, which will be total cost divided by total sales. So also show it on the total line. So let's see how we can add multiple lines in a matrix visual having two different formats. So sales is in the numbers and the percentage, the total cost, percentage of total cost will be in, of course, in percentage format. So let's start uh, uh, working on this. So as, as always, calculation group is going to be our friend here. Let me uh, open tabular editor and then start creating a, a calculation groups here. So what we're going to do here is add a calculation group. Let's call it uh, a maybe matrix group, whatever name you want to go give. And then name, we will change it to group. And then we will add calculation items. So three calculation items we will add. I will show you what those calculation items are. One we will call detail. Or other one we will call total and third one we will call percentage of cost see if I need more I can add more but let's let's start with these three first okay so what we're going to do in detail case so I have a measure already called total sales which is sum of sales and in detail case I'm just going to return my measure so nothing extra we're going to do when we are in total we are going to do uh, uh, again let's do in all three cases let's return the total sales for now and just see uh, what we get in our matrix video so I apply the changes go back to power bi refresh so we will see a matrix group here now. Yeah, here you go. So what we're going to do is take the group uh, column from matrix group on our uh, matrix rows. And, and then we have a category and group. So now what you see here is we have a, a category one. Of course, we are seeing uh, a total at the detail level. So this is a sum of all the categories because that's a uh, number first in hierarchy. And then we have a category. But when you go to the total, again, this total column is coming from our uh, matrix group. So we have a category one and two, three again, and then percentage of course, all that stuff. Now the ask here is when we are in the total section, we just want the summary of category one, 1055, category two, 582, category three, 560. And when we are in a percentage of cost, we want to see the total percentage of cost. 
and then category one cost percentage and then category uh, two and three costs. So we don't want the product level information because that is already here. So let's uh, go back to our calculation group and make the changes. So what we're going to do here is, so we are going to do is filtered our sales table. If it is not filtered, if we are not on the sales table, then only return this total sales. So let's make this change and also do the same change in here. So sales table, we are saying if it sales table is not filtered, only then return this measure, otherwise it will be blank. All right, so let's see how this change made a difference. So now if we go back to our matrix visual, so detail, we can see the detail here, category one, two, three, and when we are in total, we are only seeing category one, total, two, three, total, and we are not seeing the product level. And so even you click the plus, so there's nothing at the product level. So the reason behind that is that because this is at the total, and uh, that's why we are, we are not seeing uh, that product level total. So this is working as expected. And one more thing now, one more thing we need to do is in this particular case, we want to return the percentage. So that's again, we will go back to our uh, calculation group. In case of percentage of um, sales, what we're going to do here is divide our total cost with total sales. So that will give us the percentage. Again, total cost is just a sum of cost from our sales table. And then in format string expression, we will change because we want the percentage. So 0.00%. So let's apply these changes. And let's see what happens. Here you go. So now what we have here is when it is percentage of cost. So we are seeing the total percentage of cost of the total sales. And when we are in detail level, we are seeing the sales and also in the total level. So now one last thing is that there is a total shown on. This is a, a, a group level total. So what we need to do is just go in our format pane and go to subtotals. And then we are going to turn off. First, we need to turn on per row level if it's not turned on and then turn off on the group level. So now what that will do, it will take away that total showing up at the end because we are doing our own total. So now once we have this, we have a lot of flexibility here. So I can have a group as my slicer as well, which is from my, um, uh, sorry, not this one, but from my um, matrix group table. The other group table I, I just created before to test. And now we have a slicer. So if I really want to only see total, I can see the total, what does that look like? So I have a summary. And if I really want to see the percentage of cost, now I have a percentage of cost. And let's say if I just want detail and percentage of cost, I can do that. Now I can control what I want to see in the total. Let's say if I have more lines I want to show in the total, let's say total cost, also I want to show like total sales, total cost, and then the percentage of cost, the actually I can add another um, calculation item and can show the total cost as well. So I can control everything, whatever I want it in this case. Uh, and for example, if we collapse all that, so we have a detail. So, and then we have a percentage of cost and because we didn't have a total here. So let's uncheck that. So I can actually now really see the summary uh, at this level detail total. Of course, this doesn't make any sense, but uh, for example, if, if I need to, and then I can have a total by product or category, and then to, so total of percentage of cost. If I want, I can really eliminate this as well. But anyhow, the ask here was to show multiple total lines. That's what I wanted to show here. And also how I can control what percentage, what format I want to sh show on the total line. Uh, so with the matrix visual, where the functionality is not possible out of the box, we can really create with calculation groups and can get with a little bit of a DAX, we can get creative and make uh, really uh, improve the look and feel of Matrix video. I hope you found this video useful and 
some more you can use these techniques in your reports uh, where you feel some limitations on the matrix visual let me know what you think uh, do subscribe my channel until next video have a good day bye for now and have a great great weekend this video is coming on saturday enjoy your weekend bye for now thanks for watching